Hey Jogger peeps, welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Day. I hope you liked the Uruguay episode. Get your Geography Now merch like this beautiful Geography Now mug at geographynow.com. Not selling out if it's your brand. Wish there was coffee in here, there's not, so I'm gonna put this away. All right, so as you know, this is the part where I talk about things that didn't quite make it into the episode or things that we made mistakes on. Number one mistake, uh, Uruguayans are not nicknamed Porteños. As explained by Antonio from the episode, he sent me a voice message. Porteños is a... Uh... <laughs> It's a, a way for us to denigrate uh, Argentinians from Buenos Aires because of the port of Buenos Aires. We refer to them as porteños, just as them refer to us as Joruguas. Joruguas. <laughs> the correct term would be Rio Platenses, not porteños. Rio Platenses. Okay, got it. Second mistake in the episode. In the map animation, we forgot to mention the administrative divisions. Uruguay has 19 departments. One thing I took out of that animation was explaining why they have a dispute with Brazil over the Invernada stream area. Basically, it's because both countries dispute where the actual Invernada stream even is. Uruguay says it's the North River and Brazil says it's the South River. They're both, they, because of like historical maps, they don't know which one the Spanish colonials claimed was Invernada. The point is, they both dispute it, but Brazil administers most of it. Another thing I took out of the episode because it just took too long, a lot of you guys said the number 76 bus in Montevideo is always late. And apparently there's even like graffiti on the walls that say life goes on, but the number 76 doesn't. If you decide to go swimming in Uruguay, just be careful, ask and inquire about the beaches because Uruguay does have a lot of riptides. Be careful. Uh, lastly, uh, this was a fact that one of you guys gave me, um, Uruguay, <laughs> Little controversial, but Uruguay does kind of have one of the highest, if not sometimes the highest cocaine and alcohol consumption in all of South America. <laughs> and for their alcohol, it's specifically whiskey. I mean, I kind of get the whiskey thing, but eh. Love me a good whiskey sour and old fashioned, you know? It is it is what it is. In any case, we got to move on to the flag, so let's do it. Without further ado. <laughs> I love doing episodes of countries where I actually get to travel to the country and get footage and meet you guys. Those are like, oh, they're so fun. And it's so cool that I got to do this episode because I went there with my mom last year. It was really cool. A little more expensive than the other countries, but still loved it. And another thing that's a little underrated uh, is the flag. So before we get into the flag, just keep in mind, there are actually three co-official flags of Uruguay. This is just one of them. And we'll explain the other two in a bit, but first let's talk about the main national flag, shall we? The national flag is a field of nine equally sized horizontal stripes alternating with white and blue with an upper white canton containing the Sun of May. The stripes allude to the nine original departments of Uruguay, as was inspired by the US's decision to make the stripes represent the 13 original colonies. The Sun of May is a symbol used to refer to the May Revolution of Independence in 1810 against the Spanish, and the Sun is inspired from the Incan god Inti. It also appears on the Argentine flag. The only difference is that Uruguay's Sun has 16 alternating wavy and triangular triangular rays extending from the sun, whereas Argentina has 32. So that's the national flag, but what about the other two? Well, they are the Artigas flag and the Treinta y Tres, or 33 flag. This flag actually was designed by Artigas, the national hero of Uruguay. This was the original flag of the Federal League, which he led, which was a league of provinces, which are now part of Uruguay and Argentina, that he was leading during that time of independence. It was made co-official with the national flag in 1952, and it basically follows the Belgrano format or the blue white blue type of flags that you see a lot in some Latin American countries but his flag had a diagonal red stripe to represent federalism then we get to the Treinta y Tres or the 33 flag this was inspired from the Oriental Province flag this was basically the military expedition flag of the 33 Orientales or the 33 Immortals essentially it was the 33 revolutionaries that started the Cisplatine war against the Brazilian Empire, which eventually led to the independence of modern Uruguay. In the center is the national motto, Libertad o Muerte, freedom or death. Now, by law, although all three of the flags share co-official status with the national flag, the Artigas and Treinta y Tres flag must, by law, be flown alongside with the national flag in government buildings and offices. They can't be flown by themselves, they have to be flown all three together. Whereas the national flag is the only one that is allowed to be flown alone and is used in international settings and events to represent Uruguay. And prior to independence, they had a bunch of flags under the Spanish Empire and there was that Cisplatina 
that time during the Brazilian Empire, whatever, you get the point. Anyway, let's move on to the coat of arms. The coat of arms contains an oval shield divided into four sections with the Son of May on top. In each quadrant of the shield lies an image. There's the golden scale representing justice, the Cerro de Montevideo with a fortress on top symbolizing strength, and on the bottom two quadrants lies the animals, the galloping horse representing liberty, and the ox symbolizing abundance and plenty. On the sides lie the laurel and olive branches tied together representing triumph and peace. And uh, also keep in mind each department of Uruguay also has their own flag and coat of arms too. It's pretty cool. So pretty simple. That's about it. Now let's move on to the next part. You know what it is. It's time for G A G R A Fan Mail Time. Ooh. All right, guys, welcome back to Geography Fan Mail Time. Guess who we got here? The one and only. Mr. Jonas, again. Right. So Jonas, last time uh, we talked, you had that whole incident. How have you been since then? Yeah, I've been great. Been really good. Just uh, positive attitude and um, enjoying life. And uh, we're here at your place this time. You are? Yeah. My new place. Stuff is happening. Your life is- uh, happening. Your life is moving, man. Slowly. I don't know how that transitions into postcards. No, go for it. But no, shall we just get some postcards? Yeah. Pula, Croatia. Okay. Uh, hey, Barbs. It's Gasper from Ljubljana, Slovenia. Right now visiting Pula Pola, where I just viewed the USA episode. In short, I always have high expectations of video videos, uh, but this one exceeded all of them. Phenomenal episodes. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Gasper. Mexico, dear Barb's, Hannah, Keith, Noah, Art, and Gary, and Jonas. <clears throat> I've been a fan for years. Thank you for your hard work researching the countries. Your videos are always full of information and I always learn new things. Have you ever been to Mexico? I sure have. Oh, okay. Been to Guadalajara. I shot a movie in Guadalajara for a month. I like me some Mexican um, some everything. Mexican travel, man. Yeah. And yeah. I had to do SF or FX uh, makeup for like four hours every morning. It was uh, pretty wild, actually. It was a very, very cool experience and I am very grateful for it. Uh, speaking of Latin America, Guatemala, Antigua. I actually just went here like a few weeks ago. Hey, from Texas, my son son and I enjoyed the USA episode. Looking forward to the remaining ones. Uh, Dave, Sandra and David. This castle and the mountains are in my home region. One of the best castles in Central Europe. La, his name is Vladimir. He has, he's from Poprad. And uh, there's a lot of facts here. You know, Slovak Republic has an area of 49,000 square kilometers. And do you want to guess how many people live there? I think from my memory, about 6 million. 5.5. 5.5. That's okay, really yeah, yeah. embarrassing. I know. How could I get it wrong? Well, thank you, Vladimir. This is Mar from France, just outside of Geneva. Okay. Maybe it's Mark and not Mar. Feeling sad because you're close to finishing the countries. Could you redo some of the early ones as they were short? Yeah, back in those days, uh, we didn't have as many segments. Like we didn't have right. a we didn't have a food segment. We didn't have a sports segment. And let me just say this: I can't do anything until I get to Zimbabwe, and then we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, why did you stop including videos of people singing, shouting geography now? I don't know. Maybe I should read. I should do another video. Would you guys like to be in a video? Shouting geography now. Let's do it. I'm just gonna do a bunch of postcards at once. Mr. Bill sending this from Holland. Ray and Vanessa also visited the DMZ in Korea between South and North Korea. I'm gonna do a couple at the same time as well then. Sure. See if I can keep up. This is from Yakir Rivera. This is from Al Oland, which is in Sweden. Uh, greetings from one of no, your many No, Oland is anomalies. technically autonomous Finland. Ah, yeah, but it's Swedish speaking, but yeah. Yeah, very cool photo. You guys think it is Sweden though. <laughs> we don't care. That's what it comes down to. <laughs> I'm just saying, World War II, you had your chance, but you missed it. No, no, no. <laughs> they had their chance. We couldn't do anything. Uh, I've always wanted to send a letter ever since uh, the Egypt episode. I'm originally from Egypt, but I live in Ohio and I have been waiting for the end for a while and you're almost there. Sincerely, I I'm so sorry I can't read that. It looks like O. Utah. You, Utah? Is your name actually Utah, but you're from Egypt? No. I'm probably, I'm I don't think, just guessing. I don't think Egyptian people name their kids Utah, but I don't, yeah, I don't know, maybe, who knows? Gang from Valladolid, Spain, where the tapas are Vala Delicious. Scott from Colorado, sus subscriber since Afghanistan. You're an OG. Wow, All very right. cool, mate. Thank you, Scott. Good work. Hi, everyone. Just wanted to write you a quick note to congratulate you on the US episode. I'm American from Ohio. Was looking forward to the episode after following the channel for a couple of years. This postcard is from my recent weekend trip to Indianapolis. Uh, my question is, why on earth did you do a weekend trip to Indianapolis? So judgmental today. I'm, I'm from Chicago, man. We always bash on Indiana. Ran Vanessa again. Man, you guys sent us a lot of postcards. Head hunting in Borneo. Not sure uh, I would recommend doing that. From Kalimantan in Indonesia. Um, huge geography nerd moment. I stepped on the equator here. The GPS read 0000. Now here's a great card. Yeah, just a couple of pints. I'm an Italian philosophy professor on a backpack trip in the US. I'm sending this postcard to you from 
from state number 18, Wisconsin. P.S. This country is amazing. Sam, congrats on making it to, uh, what is it, 20 states or something? Yeah. All right. This is cool. Chopsticks. You can play with these. What is this? Show them off. Well, I'm pretty sure the letter will say something. Japanese stuff. Dear Geography Now team, I'm still listening to your videos. You're doing an awesome job. Kushima is famous for a dance festival called Awa Adori. So if you ever come to Japan, you have to visit. Noel, this is so cool. These are really cool chopsticks. And I don't know what these little figurines are, but they're pretty adorable. Uh, I got this uh, tie-dyed color package from like Texas. My favorite episode was the Kiribati episode. My brothers and I are DJs. We perform at events in San Diego. Diego. I also sent you the San Antonio flag, which has the Alamo on it. I have included a traditional Fiesta flower crown and a Fiesta medal. We wear these two Fiesta events around the city. Well, I guess I gotta wear it because, uh, you know, yeah. it's part of the job. Ooh, this is my kind of packaging, yeah? Okay, okay. Tim Tam. Hey, my name is Andrew. Your videos on South America really helped me with my Spanish exams in the last year. Soy australiano y vivo en Brisbane. Es una gran ciudad y muy diversa en cultura. También he estado estudiando capoeira brasileña durante casa siete años en Django Capoeira. Okay, you so understood that. I mean, you speak Spanish. I understood it. Yeah. So how did you learn Spanish, by the way? I went to school in uh, Norway. You choose between German, uh, French, and Spanish. That's a very, very easy choice for me. You chose Spanish. And now I wish I chose French, because can you imagine how cool it would be if I could just... Uh, Alright, I guess we're doing one more. Oh my goodness graciousness. Wow. Oh, wow. So cool. Hello, just a note to say thank you for all the hard work you and your crew do. Uh, I know you like maps. I'm hoping you don't have a hand-stitched one. Joe, from Joe. Mate, this is seriously cool. Like this is so so cool. She hand stitched love this. the Korean Peninsula. Genuinely love that. Oh my goodness. And she put like ah uh, like little fishes in the sea and a little boat so and cool. a little crane. Thank you so much, Joe. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna I think my mom's really gonna like this. I'm gonna show this to my mom. All right, Mr. Jonas, uh that is pretty much it. I mean That's it. opened everything. Good um, work. Plenty of good stuff here, yeah. Anything you wanna say to the Geography Now community? Don't stop. Send us all the fun stuff. And yeah. uh, you know, Paul reads all of this and he really does appreciate it. And go crazy. Send something crazy next time. Like oh. Is it? We need something like that explodes when I open the. Okay, maybe not explode. Well, but. well, not that. Something fun and wacky, guys. Send wacky something wacky fun. Something cool, yeah. But for that sure. that highlights Illegal. your country. That highlights your country. All right, guys. Cheers. Stay cool. Stay tuned. Later.